the things that I wanted to think about when starting this body of work uh, was really to reapproach a way of making sculpture that started with a kind of an autobiographical position. Um, this is something that I had done previously with the Malfa project, centred around a building on the council estate where I grew up in and in Cardiff. There was something about that body of work that I wanted to think about how these kind of formative years contributed in some ways to my kind of visual language. So the exhibition explores themes of class and place, but through a very kind of personal lens, so the artist's own autobiographical experience. They're the starting point, and then it becomes a much broader inquiry into ideas around what we inherit. So what we inherit from our parents, what our parents go through, what they carry with them, and how place travels with us, how place is really formative, and how in our minds it's traveling with us. So Wales and Venice has used the venue for the last five exhibitions. For me, it was kind of a, a key part of the body of work. It's a deconsecrated church um, that brings along not only a kind of a certain type of architecture with that, but also kind of a rich history of Catholicism. The body of work is kind of really dealing with my own upbringing as a Catholic. Um, my mother grew up in a children's home and part of the work refers to that. So within the installation and the suite of works, which I kind of tried to put together as a body of poems brought together to create meanings when they kind of rub up against each other, these are all contained within the framework of the venue that is really a kind of a piece of work and a character within the installation itself. I was undertaking a residency at a museum in Cardiff called St Fagans, um, which is a museum of Welsh life. One of the things that I was taken by in the museum was their collection of Welsh whole cloth quilts. And uh, this is something I'd previously done some work with, uh, working with a Welsh quilting group, um, a group of ladies in Gilvach Goch, the former mining community, and really kind of began to study and think about the quilts in relation to kind of ideas of everyday activity and kind of patterns of activity and repetition and cycles and all of these things. And I kind of recognising something of that that was kind of bound up with my way of making and my ideas of wanting to tell stories through kind of small details and everyday moments. Whilst also producing and designing the quilts myself in the studio and thinking about how the motifs might be drawn up and marked out to at once reference the kind of historical patterns, but it could be kind of new, I then began to work with some quilters in Wales, Karen Coxedge and Samantha Jones, to collaborate with them and actually kind of produce in the whole cloth quilts and, and they worked with me on, on stitching and, and making the quilts that you see in the exhibition. Each work is essentially staged within its room, but then there are surfaces that might draw you in, patterns that might draw you in, textures that draw you in. So I think it's one that invites a kind of close looking and a repeated looking. We've left the roots of the show open-ended, so there isn't a prescribed route. We really want people to tread their own journey through the exhibition. I've used the um, motif in the work for about 10 years now. Um, originally as a collage that was lifted from the Sun newspaper, I bought the paper every day on my way to the studio um, as a kind of an attempt to map a daily activity in everyday daily life. The Sun was very much kind of a banned newspaper in our house and the kind of Daily Mirror, the left leaning newspaper of the UK press was, was the paper of our, our household. So it was something in that initial project of me buying the, the Sun newspaper every day over a period of about seven years to make this collaged work that was also a illicit activity. For this body of work I kind of wanted to revisit that pattern and find other ways of working with it. In this installation I've used it to make a set of screens that kind of reference uh, dressing screens, um, but equally reference kind of Catholic confessional screens. To the occasion, God does not owe us anything, and He knows this because because of a photograph He found. He remembers a damp basement flat. There was a yellow budgie. We weren't here too long before moving to a council flat in the sky. When his sister was born, we moved to the home that I lived in for 30 years the longest I've remained at one address. We drive past... So the piece refrain um, is a live 
daily work that will um, be repeated every day for the run of the Biennale. It's a piece that's performed daily by my mother and she'll be performing it from Cardiff um, and it will be transmitted to the venue at two o'clock each day. So there'll be this moment in the installation where everything is suddenly activated by this voice. And there would be two of us about, I think, um, about because there were different sections of the corridor, uh, two at the top kind of going in and then one at each end going down like scrubbing. The reason why it has to be live and not recorded is to again to deal with a sense of ritual, of, of activity, of hesitations, of falters, of mistakes, of what it means to, to repeat. So 